A corrections employee is charged with sexually assaulting an inmate. And Local 10's Alex Finney is live down with this developing story. Alex. And Calvin, we know that this employee in this case has been relieved of duty pending the outcome of this investigation. We are talking about two different incidents here in this same story. And of course, we are still waiting to get more comment from obviously employees as well as this investigation continues. 46 year old Johnny Jovin was arrested January 6th, charged with sexual battery. He is a Miami Dade Corrections employee and stands accused of raping an inmate at TGK. Jovin worked in the jail's kitchen. According to the arrest report, the victim stated that she was working in the kitchen area when Jovin directed her to follow him into a refrigerator. The arrest report goes on to state that once inside the refrigerator, Jovin allegedly grabbed the victim by her waist and kissed her on the lips and eventually slid his hand into her pants. She was able to break free, but a short time later, it allegedly happened again while she was in another refrigerator. That's when he allegedly followed her in there and digitally penetrated her vagina without her consent. Jovin was ultimately arrested on Saturday. Now this story comes just days after we reported on another inmate, 28 year old Daisy Link, who became pregnant while in jail. Her family spoke to Local 10 and said she is a victim of sexual assault. Now they're trying to come up with all kinds of different scenarios of what happened to her. Link has been in jail for over a year and a half, awaiting trial on a second degree murder charge. Now in this case, jail representatives have said that there is no evidence of sexual battery, but the circumstances surrounding the pregnancy remain under investigation. Now, Miami-Dade Corrections did send us a statement just moments ago, and it reads in part here that they are very much aware of these allegations. And as for that employee, he has been relieved of duty pending the criminal case and the results of the internal investigation into the allegations. Again, they say that they take this very seriously. They are committed to the integrity of the investigation process, but at this time, they have no further comment. For now, this is the very latest live in Miami. Alex Finney, Local 10 News. Okay, Alex, thanks a lot.